we had planned like two sessions one we covered by kamal and second will be mine on technical analysis and in technical analysis our team remains the same like to discuss the indicators the technical educational background and then we move on to discussing the different stocks but since the time has elapsed and we are like uh, beyond our schedule so i'm skipping the first thing of the learning about the technical uh, learning about the indicators the educational aspect i can cover it in a separate video and i will post it there and you can you can have a look on that so let's utilize this time by interacting more rather than you know focusing on one single indicator so let's uh, do it this way today so i will start discussing with the different stocks and one of the stock is air canada so you can see it on my screen so our first stock i'm picking it myself and the rest uh, you, you can you know add on and comment or you can say uh, any you can say during the discussion what stocks you want to discuss on and we can uh, take on your request so first stock is like air canada most of the guys are trading in this stock just let me know guys if you are, are really trading in this stock or i'm just assuming that we will be trading in it if you are trading then i'm going to discuss it if you are not trading then it's no use of discussing this stock rather we can move on to the next stock which is commonly traded in our group Yes, guys. So, yeah, let's discuss. There are people trading. Uh, I also uh, have it, it in my portfolio. Okay, so everyone, I want everyone to be on uh, unmute and let's be more yeah. active. Let's discuss Air Canada, Corus, SCL, MIR, please. So one by one, the, have you say all together? I forget. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, okay yes. I'll remember. Air Canada. Okay, sure. Air guys, Canada. unmute and you know, just start discussing rather than one or two persons speaking. I want everyone to have some words. Say it. Any question? If you think your question will be like very simple, small, stupid, anything, don't worry. It's better to ask this question rather than losing your money. So, unmute and interact. i can see like many of the guys have unmuted good and uh, still some of them are on mute okay you can ask questions while i'm discussing you can ask in between don't wait for the time that i will end up and then i will say okay you can ask questions ask in between okay so i'm starting in the air canada guys do you remember that i shared one of uh, in the group i shared one of the one analysis on the ac yeah you got yep. a chance to see that yeah yesterday before the close of yeah. the day right yesterday mm -hmm. i shared one pdf file in which the, it was the same graph there same technical chart there and with the view like this and i have pointed out some of the points here like you can see these three four points these seem to be you know the previously they they were the resistance levels and now it has uh, in the previous week it crossed this resistance then when it fall down again so the previous the idea is when it the previous resistance if it has been crossed becomes a support next time so this i am expecting this level of 19.40 to be acting as a support for this canada stock by the way canada air canada moved up here bounce back here bounce back again the same level of around somewhere around 19.5 back again back back but here like on the last week on wednesday on on monday it crossed up so it gave the breakout and gave a closing which was above the previous support uh, previous resistance level it broke the resistance and went up to 23.59 to be exact on that day it went up so it had break the resistance so like most of the people can take entry from here and uh, you know you can expect the stock going up because it has broke the resistance but unfortunately the next day it went down due to unforeseen conditions in the market it went down so this breakout could be considered as a false breakout because it did not form the other candle above but the good thing is when it started going down uh, this one uh, level of 19.4 acted as a resistance previously and now it can be taken as a support so here you can see the one day it went down and again then in the last session it went up so this up candle which is formed in the last session on friday seems to be you know little bit encouraging although it's not very highly probable that stock is changing its uh, trend but still you can see that it has moved upward point number 1 number 2 it seems that it is trying to take a support at this level of 17.5 and it's reverting back so if i draw a trend line from here so just to better analyze this situation you can see uh, sir we, uh, hey can i ask a question please yep so um 
how do you calculate the support and the resistance again? Like, I can't. Really I can't understand. hear you. Can you speak a little loudly? Yeah. So my question is, how do you calculate the support and the resistance? Okay, support and resistance. Support is actually the point which acts as a floor and prevents the price from falling it below that level. And it has been tested many times by the market. Okay, and the resistance is on the reverse. Resistance is a ceiling which prevents the price from going beyond that level. And it has been tested by the market many times. For example, you see here this point. This point I was acting as a resistance before. It prevented the price to uh, to cross this point. And then here it also it prevented the price to go up. Here also, you can see uh, it did not resist it many times, but it, these two are considered to be the strong resistance. And here, this point, and it has it should be touching at least two two candles. So th this one, this one here also it resisted and gave a closing at this level. So this can be acted as a resistance. And same goes with the support. Oh. Okay, and uh, support is on the other hand. So what I was saying that the trend line. So this was the trend line. Uh, this stock seems to be, you know, in this trend, and we can expect if we clone this and let's see how it is behaving. So you can see the next target to be at this level. If it crosses this level, if it really takes support, and you know the market on Friday was like positive, unlike Thursday, which was a huge negative market. Friday it was positive, and we are expecting a similar week, not a very uh, bullish week next week, but still, you know, it it can be a good trading week. So if it responds to the market volatility, it can go up further to this level of twenty four. But before that, it will face a resistance at twenty three because it rebounds or bounced back from this level of 23. So the, 20, the level of 23, you can see if I draw the horizontal resistance level at this point. You can see a uh, resistance at this level of. OK, let's make it red and increase. Okay, so this point here, one, two, it's let to be more precise here. If we can, somewhere here, but it, it is not like very s strong one, not a very strong resistance because we are getting like just two, two points matching here and some uh, a week here which is approaching near to the resistance level it is not it is not considered as a very strong resistance but still we can consider this as uh, uh, you know while we are doing our analysis so it can uh, you know reach to this level of 23.42 again and can bounce back so you can have your you know target price set a little below 23.42 so there can be two conditions either it will you know pass on 23.42 and move further upward if it goes further upward then you can re-enter this trade again but there can be situation that it will hit this and buy back uh, and bounce back so in order to prevent it uh, your you know uh, the minimization of your profit you can plan your target at 22.45 or you can say like 23 somewhere around 23 you can plan your target if you are in profit if you're in profit just realize it when it touches 23 and then wait for it if it goes further down then buy again and the further down level will be again at somewhere around, around this point of 19.5 next time next time it might not go till this level of 17 the guys who are waiting for this to again who will wait, there will be some guys who will wait for this again to come of 17.5 but it might not go if we follow this trend here also you can see the last time it fall down to 13 so you might you guys might be waiting again this time here when we were at this point to fall back fall back again till 13 but it did not went till this level it went only till 15 a little higher than the previous low and here also uh, on in the, during the last week you might you guys like might be waiting for the stock to again come back till 15 level or some guys like very sharp okay let's buy it at 12 but it did not uh, hit till 15 it stood till 17 and the next target based on this next the buying target when if it goes below then will be around somewhere here around 19 so you need to take care of this uh, this trend line okay so the uh, right now the strategy should be hold on don't sell it and the selling price should be around 23 and 
uh, after 20, uh, 23, you are, if you are in profit, hold it. If you, uh, if you are in profit, sell it, realize the profit. If you are in loss, you can, you know, go with the, the same concept. If you're a trader or you are, you, you are, you are the investor. So in the loss, better to hold. So at 23, if it goes beyond this level, it can hit like 24, sometime like 24.5 or something like that then you can see if it going it is going above this 24.5 then you can re-enter the trade from here or the other situation will be like after hitting this 23.5 level it goes below if it goes below then it can reach again to 19.5 and then you can re-enter the trade one very very important thing guys whenever there is a change uh, whenever there is a movement in the stock like if we tra check it from here the lowest point 15 and the highest point 23. So you will enter the trade somewhere here in between this line. And, uh, and you know, it is very important to note that you cannot earn the hundred percent profit off from that trade. What is like hundred percent, like 15.68, let's round it to like 16 and like 23. So you, it is very, very rare. Like you bought the uh, stock at 16 and you sold it at like 23. Like this will be like $7 gain. So this is like a hundred percent gain. You can never ever have this seven percent, uh, the seven dollar gain, which is like hundred percent. You will be entering the trade once it has already moved up somewhere like seventeen, and you will be coming out of the trade somewhere below twenty three point five, like I mentioned, like 20, the amount of twenty three or twenty two point nine. So your profit will be in this range, and no one can ever have this uh, except you are a long term investor. Then you might have a uh, stock here, and then you are selling it here. But at this point, you have lost an opportunity of rebuying it again. So that's a separate story. So my what and the point I am trying to say is like hundred percent of the gain is not possible. Never look for this, and never regret if stock goes up after you have sold it. Whatever you could earn, you have already earned it. Be happy with that. Don't greed. Greed is a point where you start losing money. Let's say like you are holding it at 23.59 in the next session and you are saying, oh no, it will go further up. It has like prospects of going till 30. It might go till 30, but you don't know the time frame when it will go to 30. And you did not sell it. And the next day it fall down and, you know, take another round of dip and came till 19.5. You could have sold it here when it was higher, but you didn't sold it because you were saying that it will, you can earn a $1 more. The one dollar more earning, actually, you lost your four dollar opportunity. You could have earned, though you will not sell it nineteen point five, but you have lost the opportunity again. So it's better to sell it here, buy it back again. And this is the market. Market will give you chances every day. And believe me, Air Canada is not the only stock in the market, and it's not the only opportunity in the market. So what the, the point I'm trying to say is, focus on your gains. If you are in the game, just realize it. Don't wait till it will go further up and you should have, you know, sold it at the higher price. Forget about that. Realize it when you are in profit based on your support and resistance level. Here, the technical are saying if it, there is a resistance at this level, sell it just below the, um, sell your, set your target below the resistance level and realize that gain. It may go further up and then you can, you, but don't say that it has gone up. Oh my God, I should have waited for a, one more day and sold it here. No. This shouldn't be your strategy. So stick to your strategy. Make a strategy and stick to that. If you keep on changing your strategy or you do not stick your strategy, you will not make a profit in the long run. One or few trades can give you a profit. In the long run, you will be you know, not maximizing your portfolio return. So just to summarize on this talk, those who have uh, this stock hold it till it reaches this level of below the sub, just below this, uh, the resistance level 23.5 to be you know very high extent 23 to 23.5 sell it and then if it goes down buy it back around somewhere around 18 19 or if it goes above this 24 then wait for a few green candles to be formed here above and then you can enter the straight from here and then next time this will be this can be considered as a support uh, level for this stock so guys any question on this air canada yep so is it like we suggest like currently 19.5 we suggest buying it now and so that it can reach 22, 23, and then you sell it off. Uh, I lost you in between. Can you repeat two questions? So do you suggest like it's currently 19 and a half dollars? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you suggest buying it now and you just sell it when it reaches 23 as it has been reaching 23, right? Yes, you can. Based on the last day closing, you can. If you would have asked me this question on like on Thursday evening or Friday morning, I would say no. Why? Because now it has formed another candle which is above. But during my discussion, if you can recall, I said that it 
is like likely not very strong why i said this because of the shape of the candle if i increase the size here this shape of the candle this is the doji candle the, and the doji is indecisive candle what is okay. indecisive like still the bears and bulls are have not yet decided upon the trend whether to take the stock up or take this stock down the shape of this candle the only thing which i doubt on this air candle stock is the shape shape of the candle which is formed on the last tray why because uh, this is an a doji candle doji means indecisive the opening if you see the opening price of the stock and the closing price of the stock is the same because the because there is no body the same one thin line opening price and closing price remain the same this is uh, you know a, a doji candle indecisive candle still uh, the buyers and the sellers are the investors are not sure about the fate of this stock it can go up or it can go down but from the overall conclusion point of view what i am looking at is the market trend the market is will be overall in you know uh, neutral to bullish trend which will impact this uh, air canada and air canada very strong sentiments attached to it so these points are you know uh, helping me to negate the impact of this doji candle and the at the bottom and one more thing that it has you know given a downside price rejection a little bit so these three things coupled together and let's see about the volumes volumes are above the average so these three things coupled together i can say yes you can you can enter but the if it forms the next candle above this then it will be a strong buy for monday morning uh, look at the market the opening if it gives you uh, a gap up opening then yes it's a strong buy uh, not a strong a medium buy and uh, from the next tuesday if it goes on with the same trend it gives a gap up opening again on tuesday and uh, gives a closing uh, which is above the closing of monday session then it will be converted into like medium to strong buy i hope that answers you Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The other thing here is like volumes. I told you volumes are you know uh, volumes are above the average. RSI, RSI seems to taking uh, support at this level. You know it hit at this level, and then again this time it hit at this level. This time I was expecting this to hit at this level and bounce back, but it has gone a little bit down and then came again here again. So on Monday if it is trading above, uh, you, uh, you know above the opening price or above the closing price of the previous day, a green. candle then you will see this rsi to going up, up again and it has you know it has a room to go up still currently it is at 54000 and it can go up till like 70000 like till this point not consider 71 but 70 as we stick to the uh, uh, stick to our approach so you can see it has still a potential unlike many of the stocks these days like energy stocks they have lost potential few of them though they have still potential but air canada has a potential to grow up so it is good for the long term investment and from the swing trade also seems to be good number one volumes are above uh, above average it has a potential upward and macd has you know shown a neutral trend it was going down okay it had a bearish trend now it is turned to a neutral and if stock behaves well on monday so it will be going to uh, an upward momentum a strong momentum momentum will increase and you can see an upward shift and divergence uh, in the in macd so that's what from the mcti point of view mcti is about to swing ab above and this one is has got a room rsi is saying yes uh, mcti will say it's a neutral it's not saying uh, yes or no but uh, rsi is saying yes volume is saying yes uh, candle is indecisive but lower price rejection saying yes and overall market trend is up for ac so it can be you know considered for buying that's fine thanks sir welcome uh, yes guys any the stock although there is still a few points that we can discuss on ac but let's move on to the next stocks can we can we check uh, can we discuss on nbr okay nbr before going that one point just very quick i want to mention this here which was a shift in the trend in ac guys here very very important to see the opening price on this day was 23 and the closing price was below an uh, opening price was here uh, 20.35 and it closed below okay then it gave a gap down opening okay and close here so every day it was giving see the gap gap every day gap 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 it was giving you a gap down opening in the last session if you notice it has given a gap up opening so if this trend continues it gives a gap up opening again because why i'm saying this because when it opened here also when it opened uh, the closing price was above the opening price of that day are you following me although it had a gap down opening gap down opening means that people don't want to buy this uh, it is it has a bearish trend, trend, uh, bearish trend people were not confident of buying this but still 
it closed above and the next day since it was closed above there was a shift in the investors mindset here they were saying that it will go down so that's why the stock market opened at a gap down here uh, when when the session closed the op the closing price was higher than the opening price so during the session there was a positive sentiment that's why the next day it gave a gap up opening and the opening price and closing price was almost the same there was like only 5 cents difference so if this sent positive sentiment continues it will give a gap up opening so answering you your question from another point of view if it gives a gap up opening on monday then you will see a strong price upward price movement on monday and it will continue till this resistance level so like if we see a gap up then buy right away yeah if you not right away first 15 minutes 30 minutes are very important because many of the short, short sellers are there they open it because people are saying saying it from the same, same point of view as we are saying gap up opening higher price yeah. they buy at the higher price and after 15 minutes they will dump and the price yeah. will go down so oh. observe it in first 30 minutes because if you open at the gap up price and then you will not be able to recover that price till the until afternoon okay. so you will stay in loss till afternoon so observe the market see the volumes when the volumes are high buy at that point of view but at, at that point of time and first half an hour one hour is very volatile okay means we should try to stay away then first half an hour just watch the market First, exactly first half an hour just stay away but you know sometimes it happens like it uh, it didn't come down it it followed its upward trend the whole day it oh, opened a gap up and then it up 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 and up and you didn't get a chance to to buy at low price but it happens okay. so but still the first 15 minute 20 minutes just watch the market like kamal kamal strategy is like he buys like at the end of the day at the end of the day is also a good point to buy So you, yeah, you can because not develop everyone strategy. can monitor the price in real time, especially during working hours. Yeah, so someone had a valid point there. Yeah, yeah. And from that point of view, yes, this is a good strategy. But uh, what I am saying is, like, if it is gap up opening, don't just rush and buy it, because after fifteen twenty minutes, you will see. Follow the trend trend of that stock in past few days. Open up the chart and see how it is behaving in first fifteen minutes and first first one hour. Just see the trend, how that stock goes. Makes sense. Yes. Yeah, and. just to add to that um, as i had covered previously as well that since you would have followed the trend studied the trend of last one week one month you know what could be, what could be the support levels it might touch so set your limit buys so that even um, if if it goes once to that limit price your order will get executed so you'll have yeah, it exactly you don't need to you know monitor uh, every time because you're not sitting in front of the screen all the time Right. and you are you are at work so determine your buy levels when you're buying the stock determine your support level so uh, when it hits that support level at any point of time during the day it will you know it will be bought right but okay. what few of the stocks i will say like you you are interested in like monitor it so you will have a very better you know you cannot trade in each and every stock there are thousands of stocks in the market you cannot trade in every one but you will have some favorites so monitor those favorites very closely Right. Okay. Yeah. Next talk was someone was saying NBR. What is that? NBR. Yeah, uh, it's Neighbor Industries. Yeah, NBR. And Neighbor Industries, yeah. New York. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. New York stock is saying Neighbor Industries. It seemed to be in upward. Okay. Let's talk about the price first. The price. at start we are in on a one day chart the price went up till this level of 84 let's see let's zoom out see it seem to have you know a resistance at this level you can see someone had a question how to find resistance just have a look how i am drawing the line so this level seem to be seem to have a resistance here at this point was at this, this point was tested several times or if i can make a sometimes you know when you it's not just a straight line it's a channel and yeah. during in that channel it is resisting so yeah so that was a channel you see here multiple times here resist 
resistance resistance it was not able to you know break this point um, and go down so it was acting as a support at this point so support uh, also becomes resistance when it is trying to go up again okay so here also you can see it touched at this point few times and here when it was trying to break it it was not able to so it um, it acted as a resistance which was a previous support for this stock and it start falling down from here so this is the support and let's talk about the resist uh, this is the resistance and let's talk about the support where this stock can take a support you can do a back testing till like oh, at least one year you can go easily so previously i cannot see any point beyond this three four month period so if we talk about the support level what can be the support of this stock so this stock seem to you know have a support at yeah this level those who don't know how to you know calculate the support uh, just focus when i'm doing this uh, making these lines so you will have slowly and gradually you will you know get an idea how we draw a support and resistance lines so see this point when it was going down here it took a support at this level okay and this point actually prevented the stock price from falling beyond this level and this has been tested previously like here it tried to cross this but it didn't so it will act as a resistance here and then again at this point same day it was not able to cross it opened it here and it fell down so the stock price was prevented from this point to go to go above so it was acting as a resistance and once it broke this line and then it reached its next level of resistance when it is falling down again so previous resistance will now become a support so as you can see it has uh, you know actually respected this line and it took a support from this level then again it went started going up so the good thing about this stock is like if i zoom it it gave a gap up opening okay number one number two which is not actually a good sign that it closed below their opening price the opening price was 53.54 rounding off and the closing price was like 52.7 so although it opened at a gap up and people were expecting this stock to go up but during the trading session on the last day it has actually shown a downward trend and it has lost a few dollars okay and the other point which is like alarming at this stage is there is an upside price rejection upward price rejection price hit till a level of 60.72 but it couldn't sustain that point and the bears pulled the price back again to a level of 54 the bulls tried to put pull it up till 60 but they were not successful in sustaining this price level and bears pulled it down again back to the level of 54 and again back to the level of actually you can say 50.94 and then there was a little upward movement and the, and the saw gave a closing at the level of 52.30 so this is an upside price rejection which is not good for this stock although you there is a, there is a chance that you will see the um, uh, if the price is, is opening either at the same level or it is a gap down opening again tomorrow so this stock uh, is you know very crucial to look at how it is behaving in uh, on monday morning gap up or gap down gap up chances are less gap down chances are little and there is a chance that it might open at the same level and if it goes uh, how it will behave in the coming week that it will go again at the level of 82.7 80, 80, from 82 to uh, 85 it will reach here and then it can bounce back again so your trading strategy if you are holding this and you are in profits whether you are in loss even so hold it till and wait till it and if it uh, start going up wait till it reaches the level of 82 to 85 and then realize the profit so when it touches this it will either go beyond this level or it fall back if it goes beyond this level and crosses the level of 85 then you can re-enter the trade after it has actually crossed 86 okay and has up formed one green candle above this line it's not like this it crossed this level here made a candle here and you enter this trade and start going down and uh, then you can say oh it crossed the resistance then why it fall back after resistance you need to have a confirmation at least one day confirmation one green candle confirmation only then you enter the trade otherwise it can be a false breakout as it happened in case of air canada air canada broke its resistance of 22 it gave closing at 23 so most of the people saying okay yes including like uh, many many of the guys they, they enter at, the, at that level of 23 hoping that it has crossed the resistance and it go further up but it was a false breakout and it fell back down so same can happen with any of the stock so just to summarize this 
hold this till it reaches the level of 82 and sell it realize your profit so if it goes crosses 85 yeah, you want to rebuy this depending the scenario at that time rebuy and make profits above or if it goes down again after this touching this level then you can re-enter in the trade and you can again buy this stock at 44 and yeah. if i say the volumes volumes are a little low because uh, during the last two three days because of this upside price rejection here then upside price rejection here okay and this is we call it uh, uh, just a candle with the upside price rejection so again you can see the same kind of candle forming here again but you cannot see upside price rejection every day and there is a gap up so likely that be uh, same price or uh, a gap down maybe volumes are a little low but uh, so if it continues the same way it can grow up rsi is saying yes macd is converging which is not a good sign yep you're saying something so finally you suggest uh, i should sell it uh, if it touches around 80 right uh just below 82 yes you can say 80 and if you are in profit we'll sell it yeah okay okay makes sense. thank you okay welcome yeah. okay yeah next guys Mir. can you look at me sorry MIR. Okay. Medmira. We have two in stock in New York and I think we're talking about this. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a closer look here. Okay. So it, it has doesn't have a long history. Yeah. Nah, it is it doesn't have a history of you know sustaining at these price levels. But still, we can, you know, uh, see. So for the long time, uh, you know, long term, it's not recommended. Yeah, but it, it has, never reached, right. never reached that level. Yeah, it has gained momentum because of this COVID. Yeah, the Corona thing, yeah, because the Corona pharma uh, pharma industry is up. So pharma, if it has, uh, you know, history of maintaining high prices, uh, only then you can plan a long term. But if it has a history of high price, then at this point of time, it will not be at the lower price levels because it's pharma. So you'll not find any, very rare to find any pharma stock, which is at lower price at this point, And it had a history of high price. If it had, if it had a history of high price, then why it will be at the lower price during these days? Yes or no? Yeah. What do you think guys? Uh, yes, yes, I agree because I'm working with a healthcare company. Yeah, so, okay, then you will course. have, you know, very yeah. in-depth idea. Guys, other guys are sleeping or what? <laughs> yeah, I say it as a season stock. <laughs> I'm here, yeah. but the price itself okay. of the share doesn't look promising. I can remember there was a discussion, mm -hmm. uh, avoid mm -hmm. dealing in penny stocks or stocks yeah. that are having immaterial value. Exactly, but you know, everyone has a different definition of the penny stock. For Kamal, it's 0. 0.4. For me, it's $1. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> So I, yeah, yeah. So and uh, yeah. Yeah, to, uh, also, people might be wondering why I say point four, um, because I use well simple trade and it has a condition that for stock to be traded on well simple trade they have uh, this particular condition that the fifty two week max of the stock should be at least point five or higher. Or mm. its volume should be greater than um, 50k, um, if I'm okay. correct. So the reason why I chose 0 0.04 is that stock. I'm sure that it would be crossing 0 0.5 in 52 weeks, and even though it is 0 0.04, it its 52 week history would have somewhere crossed 0.5 recently in either um, at least one month or two months which means it gives one year period for the stock to be traded on well simple trade um, am i being clear so you're saying that if it is at 0.4 then it can go it can cross 0.5 to yeah. be there in and if it has already crossed 0.5 in the last month then it might not go again so if, if it has, if it in the last 12 months, it has not crossed 0. 0.5, last 12, not 12, 10, 8 months, then it is a chance that in the next one or two months, it can, it has to go beyond 0. 0.5. What I'm saying is if in last one or two months, if mm -hmm. it has crossed 0. 0.5, which has made it eligible to be traded on well simple for 
another 10 months yeah okay so yeah. which means that it won't be delisted from well simple trade for trading for another 10 to 12 months exactly so, so what if if we have a stock and it gets delisted for a year and then what happens next sorry i didn't get your question i mean it if it doesn't go beyond 0.5 or doesn't touch it hmm. and it is get it is delisted from well simple and we we are holding the stock then so what happens still it is it? listed in the stock exchange it's only one broker will not be trading in that because of the broker policy but still it, it will be listed in the market whether it be nasdaq new york or dsx you will be having it only from the broker point of view. Uh, you need to ask that broker exactly. Um, from broker channel, it might not be available for trading, further trading. But if someone has it, he owns it because yeah. you have the rights attached to that. You are a shareholder. So only broker is not supporting f any further on this uh, stock, but you are holding this th uh, in the market through that broker. So you have the rights still. You are okay, the so maybe. So maybe I'll open a quest trade uh, or any other broker and then I'll request them to transfer make it available. Okay. Yeah. And I have one more question. Yeah. One more question. For example, if if you buy a share today, uh, do we need to wait for at least two to three days to sell it up or we can sell it next day itself? What is the background of this question? I would be interested to know, know more about this. You know, like in India, we have this, uh, like if you're holding a share, uh -huh. uh, we cannot sell it. Uh, I mean, uh, if you buy a share today, we cannot sell it next day. Yeah. Uh, you need to have uh -huh. a T plus uh, T plus two. two. two, yeah. T, plus two. Okay. T plus two. Uh, you know, uh, you can sell it even the next second. You can sell it. And T plus two transaction. I'm not sure how it is working in, in India. In Pakistan, we can sell it. You know, the intraday trade. How they do it. The no, buy intraday we can do it. I mean, intraday you we can, can do it. But what happens like once the, we buy it and then the market closes. Mm -hmm. And the next day, if we want to sell it, we cannot sell it. Okay, in uh, in Pakistan, we can sell it, and here also we can sell it. I have also done, I think, yeah. So you, you can sell it. The only thing is, uh, it takes T plus two is a settlement process. At the end of T plus two, uh, on T plus two, actually, you get the this share in, under your name. But here, uh, still now, I have also been trying to find out this uh, time frame of T plus two or whether it is T plus one here, but I, I'm still not able to find this link. But overall, idea remains the same that T plus two, there, there is no restriction first to answer you, you question. There is no restriction if you can sell it you know, on T or T plus one. That's the, that answers your question. The next question is, and I settle next, which I think it further, the settlement process. The settlement process in many of the countries, in on many of the stocks, in this takes T plus two, as we have in our in India and Pakistan. T plus two is the settlement date. Here, what is the settlement settlement date? Still, I'm not able to find whether it is done at the same day. Normally, for bonds, it is either T plus zero, you can say T or T plus one. For the stocks, I'm still trying to find out. If someone gets to know about the settlement date here in TSX or in NASDAQ, please do let me know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, guys. Um, let's uh, discuss MIR. Okay, we are you know going beyond our scheduled time, but uh, at any point of time you want me to stop, we, we will stop. Okay. Now it's all upon you guys. Till the time you guys show interest, we will keep on. And because the timing difference in in some of the countries are is not favorable, though it's a weekend, but it's it uh, it's all depend depend upon you. As long as you guys want me to continue and you're showing interest, we we will continue. Or if the participant level falls down, then we have to close it. Currently, we are 18, and I think we have lost two or three, maybe due to adverse time frames. Okay, MIR. But guys, please do speak, do show interest. I don't know why a few of the guys like Ajaz, Imran, Franklin, Pankaj, Pankaj, I think he contributed, and the others, Vakas, said, guys, don't sleep. Hello? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll oh, yeah. start speaking together. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, go, ahead. go ahead, one by one, guys. Yeah, so this is Franklin. Uh, yeah, Franklin. I'm still a new trader. I'm trying to like you know grasp uh, everything you're saying, right? So okay. Yeah, when I do have a question, I'll ask. But for now, I'm just trying to learn the sure. new stuff, right? So yeah. Okay. Good. Um, so far, guys, how how the session is going? Still, we are like at the very beginning of our these trading sessions. Like this is the third session we are conducting. And how you feel about this session? Please do let us know so that we can improve on. And how far this, how good or bad this current session is going? Do let me know. You you are like you are gaining something or like how uh, I'm doing. 
how am I behaving with this session? Am I too fast or too slow or like uh, I go very quickly? Do let me know so that, you know, we can uh, work on that. Yeah. And like, I would like to add one thing. Like, yeah. You are explaining this whole concept of candlestick and we are looking mm. at the support price and the resistance mm. price, but some of us are not accountants. So mm -hmm. for them, the jargon may be a little hard to understand, if, especially if they are joining the session for the mm -hmm. first time to listen from you. Yeah, so true. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Prabhakar, I remember he mentioned something like he's starting to read the financials and he has some queries. Na? Mm -hmm. So I think maybe we should have a basic session, mm -hmm. maximum, I think 15, 20 minutes, just to understand this whole candlestick analysis. Like how do you determine what's the support price, what's the okay. resistance price? Yeah. Fine. When uh, we started our session, actually the first day we discussed about this and those guys who are new, they will have this problem. But those guys who are with us like from last three weeks when we had a first session, I hope uh, they can recall that we discussed about the support and resistance and few things like that. But still, we can have a, you know, a separate session on that. And I'm planning to make one small video on this so that you guys can, you know, if we can go and check it out there also. And we can include in our upcoming session the support and resistance. And by the way, do you know you don't need to be from the finance or accounting background if you want to, you know, calculate the support and resistance. It's, it's uh, just a simple thing okay looking yeah. forward to it thank you man sure yeah. sure yeah, yeah. So, yeah we can one by one guys yeah uh, maybe okay. in the next session we can start with that basic uh, if the video i will is... touch upon i will touch yeah. upon yeah okay yeah aman was saying something aman yeah uh, this is pankaj actually i have a yeah, suggestion like I, yeah i am sure people would start getting interested if people are joining so every time they would be in the same situation when you have new joinees so as exactly. you suggested it's always good to have the basic session recorded as expandable yeah. as possible so that you can just give them then they can view it but otherwise you'll spend a lot of time every yeah, yeah, yeah. repeating and the same thing that's what i was uh, i was also yeah. referring to the same like every two or three weeks later we will have like bunch of people who don't know right, support right. and resistance so, so uh, yeah. The only thing had been like our first video, first session, which was on support resistance was not recorded. And uh, that's why we lost it. So I will record a separate session uh, on this. And then, you know, if, if someone wants it, he can go and do it. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to MIR. Yeah. Someone is saying. Yeah. So one more suggestion. So, yeah. so like if we want to make any comments, I think there's a, an option of raising hands. So we don't all talk at the same time. So we can just click on the right hand option, then you can call anyone that wants to speak. Okay, yeah, I think that's, that's a good idea. So what, what is it called, raising hand or? Uh, yeah, raise or... hand. If you check on more, uh, the three dots, yeah, you see where the chat. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, raise hand, yeah, so it's there. We have, we have, okay, I, I will look on into it, fine, thank you. Thank okay, you. yeah. Okay, MIR, let's get back to MIR. Without further delay, MIR had first it doesn't have a very strong history of reaching at the higher levels, okay. And currently it was in a downward trend here, and it took a support. Let me draw, uh, guys, watch cl closely when I draw, draw the support lines. So it has taken actually a support at this level. So why this is a support? Because it, this price. This line, uh, this price of 0 0.39596 has prevented the stock from going below this level mul multiple times. One time here and this second time, at least it should be two times. And here it acted as a resistance and prevented it from going above this point. So as I mentioned, a resi previous resistance, once broken, next time it becomes support. It was resistance here, it resisted, resisted almost. Re it didn't resist here, it actually crossed. And then when it was coming down again, the next time, the previous resistance becomes a support point and it has actually honored the support line two times. So it has like one, in number two, you can say here two and very close and three and four, four instances. So it can be considered a strong support line 0 0.39 and how long it can go. You will be interested in knowing because you guys are holding. So here, Red line, red line. Okay, let it be more clear. I should have a little thin line here. Yep, this one's better. So at this point, this point or little low, yes, this point can act as a resistance of 6.99, or you can say 0 0.7. But this one shouldn't be your target. Your target should be 0 0.64. 0 0.64 or 6.3. 6.3 should be your 
current target in you can say immediate target if you talk about immediate target by the way it is 0 0.57 so it will hit 0 0.57 and then it will you know start may start falling down or start resisting at that point before it goes further up so you can set your target at max max at 0 0.64 or 63 or if you want to realize it early 0 0.5557 you can realize your profit at 0 0.57 as well if you can you see that stock is resisting at 0 0.5758 and it is not going beyond and it is touching 5758 and going back again so sell it 0.57 and then buy it back again when it's going down so but if it is not resisting at 0.57 and it goes further up then your target should be 0 0.64 sell it and again the same strategy it can go down from 0 0.64 actually it will go a little up 0 0.65 but don't wait till this point okay 0 0.64 just below the resistance level you need to sell it your tp should be target profit should be just below the resistance level again it will have like two situations from 0 0.64 it will either uh, 0 0.69 this resistance level it goes up if it goes up then buy again but the chances that it will go up are like little guys very important when i say go up that i always refer or everyone always refer to the price the closing price not the price the high price during that day so if i talk about this candle on this day very important to note guys 26th of may it the price it went till 0.85 but it didn't give a closing so you will not consider 0.85 you will always consider the closing price point here 0 0.67 so the stock price was went high from this level to this level of 0 0.7 don't consider this because it was not able to sustain this price so what i'm saying here is at 0 0.69 if it touches here and gives a green candle above and one day confirmation on the next day only then you can re-enter from the upper side but the chances are like it will not cross this level uh, and even if it crosses like it here then you need to see if either it is giving a closing above this resistance level or not like here it it crossed but it didn't give a closing above this resistance level so it acted as a fine support a fine resistance at that level again the same situation can be here but don't confuse yourself you say oh uh, we discussed in our session like if it crosses 0 0.7 or it, which is the resistance line then you can enter no you need to understand it clearly when i say crosses it means the closing price should be on closing price on that day should be above 0 0.69 here it didn't it did not cross although it gave a uh, high during that day but it did not cross actually if the same situation occurs don't mix it when i say crosses it give a closing above this level of uh, 0 0.7 and the next day it gives a green candle above this point then you can enter but that was a general for all, uh, all stocks but here again coming back to analyze mid mirror it is like a, uh, if you are holding this stock first level consider 0 0.57 if it is resisting it will be a, a you know a weaker one though uh, you can uh, you know sell this and rebuy back again at below levels but it's better to you know hold till 0 0.64 and then sell it and if it goes further down again then you can buy it hope that clears and let me check the volumes volumes are low and it can start going down again it has you know consistently low volume during the past months so it's not a very very favorable stock at this point of time but if it gains momentum it can so uh, because of the rsi upward movement rsi has still you know uh, uh, you can say a space uh, it has you know a space to go up further it has 54 it is above 50 upward trend it is an upward trend rsi says yes volumes are a little low and macd has you know it it is uh, not recommending actually to buy this stock at this point because uh, the signal the macd line the blue line is below below the red line so it has you know started converting when it converges and actually crosses this line that is the buying point for macd those guys who, have, who are not familiar of this macd we have a video in our channel you can go and uh, see the video those guys this is for those who have uh, you're joining it for the first time and don't know what is what the macd is what it tells you can go and have a look at that video thank god we have a recorded session for macd unless unlike our first session so i will be sharing the link after the call so you can go though it is a very long session if you can similar to today's session if you are interested you can go and check and see what the macd is so as for the macd uh, the buying signal has not yet created until it crosses this level uh, rsi yes and macd is so the past trend so still you know it lags behind the lagging indicator uh, and uh, that's what it is if you want to take an entry now on monday see how it behaves but the upside uh, will be you know minimized if uh, it opens like let's say at the same level of for example at 0 
and the upside will be 14 0.64 will target 14 cents will be the upside and the downside is 10 so it is risk to reward ratio is also fine in the stock yeah Just guys. yeah two points to add with um, as you guys have observed um, based on what Tahir has um, mentioned in the analysis is that this sh stock is for short term since it doesn't have a long history uh, holding it for long term um, there's no reference as in how long you want you would like to hold so prefer this stock to begin with considering that you would be holding it for short term and that's where um, the tahir uh, the selling points or the resistance levels which tahir has mentioned would be a good reference for you to decide on on what price you would set as your sell limits and second point which i would like to um, add to this is uh, coming back to pankaj's point on whether you should be holding your stock or selling it so for this particular stock um, both tahir and me we are saying that you should be selling because in this uh, analysis you could see that the stock has a tendency to go at a price which could be lower than your average price so if a stock goes at uh, lower than your average price you could buy sell it at the price make make your profit and then once it again goes lower than your average price buy it back in which case you are not nullifying your profit hope you are getting this yep okay yes guys yeah. uh, any, any yeah. question on this or shall we move to the next stock no i think we can move uh, okay next stock guys can we look yes. at uh, scl oh, sorry okay uh kamal i think that's uh, these guys participants say talk we are the host at, can you look at talk uh, sorry okay oh, someone had mentioned that's why i said it's okay 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 fine yeah. uh, no problem um, i know Let's many of the guys the, yeah. you have recommended mir and rcr and almost all of the guys have you know uh, have taken this these two stocks so tog guys you mentioned tog yeah, yeah. yeah okay. people have mentioned in chat Yeah. Yeah. Okay. TAG, I'm sorry. SGY, I'm not looking at that. Uh, the chat right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if we around. just if we need to focus on the uh, on just on the chat, then YouTube was also not bad. The reason mm -hmm. why we came on Zoom is like uh, you guys. I want you guys to you know to speak up to. So yeah, that's why so I'm not uh, looking at that chat. No, I'm keeping an eye on chat. Uh, this SCL was uh, requested okay. by Ra Ranjan. Let let them let these guys you know speak up. instead of you know mentioning on the chat if you, <laughs> yeah. you you just mention on the chat then why not on the youtube why on that's the that's the way how they're going to speak <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the way that's they're going to speak <laughs> let's go back again to the youtube yeah. Yeah. so if you yeah. if you speak then you will not sleep actually you know it's good to hear from you from uh, it you know it's uh, like a response from you guys if like kamal or me or like any any host is not getting a response you know it it doesn't look good or like there's a feeler that people are not encouraged or people are not getting it so you know uh, it it depends on upon all uh, you guys at how much information you can you can take from us true true uh, by the way franklin has raised his hand i think he wants to ask us something but he's muted right now Okay, uh, Franklin. I don't know how to use this hand option here. So, <laughs> oh, so next time I will explore this, and then you know I will focus on this. But uh, for today's session, uh, you, instead of using hand, you can you can raise your voice. No, I think that hand raising option was on YouTube, not on Zoom. No, I can see this raise hand option as well. Yeah, it's coming. I will yeah. explore. Yeah. I will explore. Let's not window. Yeah, let's not focus on functionality thing to save time. And focus more on the technical thing. I will explore this. Yeah. So my first I want us to work on uh, the SGY, uh, Good God, and uh, which one again? TFW. Which stock? Good God. Good God. SGY. 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 Yeah. Okay. I will coming to SGY after TOG. Yeah, okay. let's do that. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's do a TOG. Mm -hmm. And uh, TOG, TOG, you know, it, two point zero three are this level. Let's look, zoom out, and look at the past trend of the stock. Ah, we went enough. No, it has a history, and I will tell you one good thing about TOG for a long term perspective. Let's draw the resistance line first, and then I will tell you that thing. 
okay so this point is a resistance point for the stock and the support level that's a support level okay so this is the support and resistance for the stock let's zoom and check how this is behaving so you can see from the previous sessions it made a high of 2.12 and then it start falling down because this was this acted as the resistance level 2.12 start falling down 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 and it came till here it took a support and immediate support if you can draw uh, one support line here as well to be called as s1 and this should be the s2 it took a support from here then um, started uh, going up and so now the next uh, you know the target should be this level 2.07 those guys who have this hold it till it goes 2.07 and again the support level will remain the same of 1.61 and the candle is very dangerous why dangerous because uh, it is a dodgy candle again dodgy is always an indecisive candle what is a dodgy and these names which i am using uh, i will be covering it in our next session so we have not read this so I will try not to use these names, but uh, I'm just trying to make you familiar. This is called as doji. Next few sessions, we have, you know, guys, many things to cover fundamental, candlestick pattern, chart pattern, few more indicators, and then back to some few basics again. So there are a lot many things to do, to lot many things to discuss, and slowly and gradually we, we will cover. And there is no end point to this learning but for the basics we will cover gradually so this is a few of the things like you can you can understand while we are discussing this uh, like this candle you can remember this candle with a high upper wick and a lower wick and there is no body here by the way this is the body this rectangular frame is a body and this stick which is up or down this is called as a wick so it is a high upper wick unlike this candle uh, these candles here high upper wick high uh, and the lower wick is also high and this body is very small means opening and closing price was the same at uh, in TOG. So how to analyze this is like bulls try to pull the price up at 1.82 and then the bears pull the price down to 1.71 then bulls came again and moved the price up and finally it closed at 1.76 the opening price and the closing price I mean seven to no one wins neither bulls win nor the bears win so they were like fighting with each other and no one was able to make the price to take the price either upward or downward so from the investors point of view like both are at the same position so this is called indecisive candle decision has not yet been made upon the fate of this stock upon the fate of the price of this stock so for the next day candle uh, let's see how it behaves but the good thing is it gave a gap up opening on the last session and if it gives a gap up opening again and, uh, and let's talk about the volume how, how the volumes volumes were like below average little below if the volumes on the next session are high then you will see this stock going up and it has a potential of going up based on the rsi which has shown an upward trend it has it has still space to go up and as soon as it reaches 70 it will fall back again as you can see this level here it moved above 70 and it was uh, due to be uh, to be corrected and fall down but still now here at this point it has a space it has the margin, it has the capacity to go up and it will go up. So this stock to summarize is in upward trend and it will go up again till the level of 2.12. So your target profit should be 2.05 for the very short term perspective. And your you know stop loss can be any point between 1.71 to 1.61 uh, or it, either it can be below, safe to below uh, 1.61 below the support level always the stock, uh, the, your uh, stop loss. So volumes, just average from this point of view rsa point of view good buy you can buy and here it has converged to actually the zero thing and whenever this is uh, the convergence it means that there is uh, it is about to there is an indication that there will be a change in the trend very soon which we can see from the macd point and the next day if it goes the uh, if it behaves well on monday so you will see the stock this uh, blue line going above so macd will also be yes rsa yes volume neutral uh, currently macd is neutral you can say rsa positive volume neutral and dodgy candle is indecisive all behave that all depends upon the monday opening price monday opening price first hour session it will decide yes guys any question on tog hello no all, all good okay
Okay, fine. So the next was SO. Guys, we will uh, take next 15 minutes and then we will end the session as we can see the participant level going down. And I think it has to be like, uh, no, it's more than two hours. It's not good to, you know, keep everyone waiting for like more than like two hours. It's already two or 15 minutes. So we'll ending like next 15. So it can be like two and a half hours, which is still a very, very long time frame. But uh, can we do a little analysis of T God before going just like one or two minutes? Just a quick view. Uh, next talk. Okay, I will picking another one. S G S. Someone said, and then you start. S S G Y. S G Y. S G Y. And then the talk you were saying is sure in energy, surge energy. Yeah. Toronto. Okay. S G Y. S G Y. Okay. Uh, sorry. One thing I was saying that one thing good for T O G. Let me go back. Okay. The good thing is here for T O G guys. It see this gap. The market has created a huge gap previously in month of March. Whenever there is a gap, the stock will always fill up the gap. So it has a potential to go to three. If you are a long-term investor, you you can hold this till it goes to 2.9, 2.98 or three. Very important to see. See your strategy. Long-term investor, when it will go, you never know. But eventually it will go because it has, and it might not be like going like straight till three. It will go here, move a little plunge down, dip, consolidate and then go up but eventually it has a potential to go to three because it has created a gap whenever there is a gap is a gap down or gap up stock will always always fill that gap okay so this is from the investors sgy sure energy sure energy i will be real quick on this sure energy sure energy support level resistance level of You can say this is not a very strong one, but it has shown a resistance. You can say at this level, a weaker one though, because here we have a week, not a closing, and here we have, you know, the opening price. And then the support level. Yeah, so this can be a support level for this stock. And although uh, the first support is little higher than this, this is the immediate support, uh, which I'm drawing now. No, this is actually not a support, Well, it is not honoring this. This can be a support. All it it came like near about to the support. It, it's never like 100% support level and resistance level are the indicators that it can go till this level. So it, you know, came uh, and uh, it made a lower point of uh, a, po a lower point, which is close to its support level and started going up. So the upside of this stock is 0 0.54 and the downside of this stock is 0 0.32. And upside is when I say up to zero point, you can, you know, uh, 0.4. So upside is more. And downside is less, so risk to reward ratio is positive. You can enter in this stock, and RSI is the same analysis like TOG because all the energy stock, by the way, you will find uh, the same analysis. So, we might not be discussing more energy stocks today. The energy stocks I have seen, like you can also go and open this chart and see, you will see the same trend. Uh, average volumes, not a very high volume, either little low or at the average. The RSI has gone up, okay, showed upward shift, and MACD is either converged or converging. So the same analysis for all the energy stocks based on current scenario. So um, for the important thing is like upside is upside is good. You can risk reward ratio is fine. You can you can enter in this straight and you can hold it till 0 0.5 0 0.50. Yep. This guys, the next stock what you were saying? Uh, it, it was T gold. T gold. T gold gold G O D gold. T gold. Yeah. Anyone uh, trading in the gold market? I mean to say any any stocks in the gold like Barrick or some other? Yeah, I have Barrick yeah. and I sold it. <laughs> hmm. It, goes, it, it is a little volatile and it's good unlike like uh, the, the, the oil prices, the crude oil. The crude oil is like no. When we talk about the stock prices, the oil energy se sector always look at the crude price. The crude price is like under pressure these days. So you will find many energy stocks down, but this is the good uh, buying time. Okay, okay. T O T got zoom out.
this is the ultimate resistance i will draw the ultimate resistance here okay but before hitting this resistance level it will have a resistance here at this point to where well, this was the turning point this will not be a very strong one but still it can act as a resistance here so this is this is the channel 0 0.61 to 65 you will see the resistance so you are uh, if you are here now this this stock is you know currently it's near its resist support level it has taken a support and actually this stock looks good why because it has a downside price rejection the price uh, the a market rejected the downward price of 0 0.41 number one it it opened at the same point there's no gap up okay no gap up or gap down and number it, this is neutral and the good point is like the down downward trend and downward uh, price rejection so downward price rejection and closing price was uh, actually it, it opened a little low uh, the opening Sorry, this one opening and the closing. So there was a gap of opening. Yes, there was a gap of opening for this stock, and then uh, the price closed above the opening price. That's why it's green. The two points. The third point is downside price rejection, and this candle we normally call it a hammer. Hammer is a type of candle in which there is a downside price rejection, and the wick is three times the size of the body. Just remember it when we'll discuss. I will give you more details on that. So this is hammer. Whenever the hammer candle is formed, there is a change in the trend, and it indicates upward trend. So you will see this will be in upward trend. Two things to consider here: gap up opening last time formed a green candle, downside price rejection, hammer candle. So this all indicates a bullish trend in the stock. So this stock gonna be bullish. So you if you're holding this stock, hold it till it reaches this level of 0 0.660 where you can plan your uh, you is selling and then you can re-enter the trade whenever it is feasible. RSI the same the same comment going up positive. Uh MACD is about to you know uh, change the trend. It uh, though it has given a little shift, but Monday movement will be very important in in for the for the MACD point of view. Volumes are although still low, many of the guys are not, uh, you know, I'll trading in this. Please. Yep. So for this seed guard, will it be wise to like set uh, a limit sell for six strands by Monday? I'm not getting you. There is uh, you know a noise at the background. Can you repeat? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, so my question is, um, will it be wise to now set a uh, uh, limit sell for this stock on Monday to 60 cents? Yes, yes you can. But let's okay. see, if. It, but I'm not sure if it's going to this point in on Monday. It will go at this level, but when this is, you know, depends on the market movements. Maybe you can find this stock, you know, showing a resistance at this level. It can also, you know, act as a resistance. Let me draw a line here as well. From yeah. my perspective, hold it for the little more time because they yeah. recently had a tie up with shoppers. So mm -hmm. all the T-Gods product are going to sell on the shoppers. And mm -hmm. that was the day when uh, that share rise up to 0.6. So once market will be open, open you will see uh, big changes in the stock price because shoppers are the mm -hmm. one of the biggest uh, uh, medicine market in yeah. Canada. So, so you got they got the tie up with the shoppers. They are definitely going to be increasing sales. If uh, you want to hold it for a little bit long, it it would be better because uh, in the end of June, uh, Ontario and other other provinces are going to be open. Like yeah. now, they are opening in the second phase. They are going to open in the full fledged third phase. So you can see big changes in the month of July. If if you can hold it for that time, otherwise uh, you can if if you wanna. Uh, have some like 20%, 25% or 30% profit from your investing, you can get in like coming weeks very easily. Exactly. So uh, from that point of view, uh, if you are like doing a swing trade, that will be more likely short to medium term uh, investing. Uh, so you, you can hold it. And any news guys, if there is a news, I always say follow the news. All the fundamental technicals, they become zero in front of news. So like you have, uh, you guys, you know, while we are discussing some stocks, if you are aware of any of the news, whether related to these stocks which we are discussing or any other stock as well, just share the news for the benefit of all. So uh, since there is a news, 
it can you know even break this uh, when the market is open it can, it can even break this resistance level since it has a history of, of this going up so the answer is currently it is an uptrend hope that answers now we, we will take the last stock for the day and we will finish this session and we will meet in our next sessions yes guys the last stock scl please so, this is ajaz sure sure yes scl scl shock sure, thank you Welcome. SCL will not disappoint you. I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Because I think most members in this group has monitored this stock this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You and I, you and I bought at three point three five, and then it dropped to two point six five or yeah. six. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> It was like I don't, uh, I it was, I don't have it now. I was, now. To go below to, I was to, like, to I should wait for some more time. <laughs> I don't have it now. I was just wondering when should I enter. Uh, yeah. So, um, for guys uh, who have started taking interest in SCL, I would say um, those who didn't buy up to Thursday, um, just hold on. It's again showing upward trend, and wait yeah. for its next dip to buy it yeah. so let me real quick here this is the resistance and this is the support level here support level you can say this one actually okay let me change the color support level i hope the lines are visible or i need to make it a little bold mm -hmm. Okay, this is a resistance 5.09. Mm, little, little, little. Yep, almost five. This is a resistance level, and the support level is for this stock seems to be at 2.37, although it didn't uh, touch exactly at 2.37, but here it touched, you know, multiple times. It was a very very close to its support level so that's one point here and uh, this stock is in currently up upward trend and it has the potential to go till five so you can have your uh you know your target price price around 5 4.9 or something you can you can easily have 4.9 as your target price and it is positive rsa positive yes it has uh, macd also yes positive it has started diverging volumes are extraordinarily high almost like double than the average volume and for the, from the last three days also the volumes were high so i'm expecting a gap up opening here and if you find a gap up opening don't enter after that because then the upside will be very less Think from the risk risk reward ratio. Upside will be less, like it will be around a dollar or even less, around a dollar on average, and the downside will be more than a dollar. Currently, at this point, who have this at um, at this point, it will you will be holding now. Like if you uh, currently you if you're holding, then you need to wait till it reaches the resistance level. And it might not break the resistance level and fall down. It's the first time it is hitting this level of footer. It has started, you know, plunging down. So hold it till it support till it reaches five. Sell it again and buy it again now. So if you have not yet bought, so be very 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 careful because I'm expecting a gap up opening and then the upside will be very less on this stock and downside will be little more. Risk and reward ratio might not hold good if you buy at the higher price in the coming sessions. Yeah. yeah. Any comments, sir? Yeah. Yeah, and just to add to Tahir's analysis, those who are currently holding the stock and planning for long term, um, I would suggest to keep it uh, for long term. As you can see from its uh, history, yeah. that its average before COVID is quite high. So yeah, you can see eleven. It's it has you know if, uh, the next. By the way, the next uh, level can be can be eleven in uh, in not a very long term. In you know you can see in a couple of months, few months you will see this when we are open back again, so it can easily reach till eleven. This is for the investors, not for the swing traders. Yeah, so uh, those who are having it, our recommendation would be to keep it for at least for two months. It might give you better. Yeah. Uh, higher return. Yeah, but again, uh, again, you know, uh, it all depends upon your strategy. You are an investor or you are a trader. If you are a trader, you can never hold this at uh, for two months. And you know, you can say, I'm, I will be, you know, holding my let's say one thousand dollar, one thousand uh, stock, one thousand shares, and I will be like, at, let's say, if I buy to three, three thousand dollars, and then I'm getting again, I'm selling it at eleven thousand, so I, I will get a gain of like eight thousand. Okay, eight thousand dollars in two months, which is not bad actually. But let's say if it is two months or what time frame. But if you see like in those two months, I can make even more than 8,000 if you see 
then go with that it all depends upon your strategy but you know going for the beginners going risk free is a good idea or yeah. minimal risk so for us um, since we are retail um, investing and um, most especially for uh, members who are looking for long term uh, it, my recommendation would be to hold and if someone is as tahir mentioned if someone is doing trading for short term and they could follow the level okay. which uh, tahir suggested yeah. okay yeah uh, okay guys thank you very much for joining us today and i hope you enjoyed it still it's very good to see like still we have like retained so many like a good number till end of like two and a half hours thank you for being <laughs> patient thank you for being with us for like two and a half hours and like till it goes to you like you thank you for bearing us for two and a half uh, two and a half hours and uh, we always you know try to stick it um, like one and a half hour but we never succeeded actually the first session i can recall it was like three hours so then again Uh, next last time two hours now in two and a half so we'll try uh, next time to stick to the timelines okay guys thank you very much thank, thank you for joining you. if you still have some yes, questions sir. you can ask and uh, we will be uploading this video very soon and you can have your questions and some more videos coming in on the short short uh, lessons like support resistance rsi and this stuff and you can go that way and uh, have a look if still you have questions feel free to ask okay guys thank you very much thank i'll be ending everyone. this call thank you goodbye thank, thank, thank you tahir thank, thank you kamal thank you everyone thank you tahir yeah, thank, thank you kamal Have a nice weekend guys. Yeah. yeah. You too.